Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking garage door openers and in the event that you are trying to close your garage door and the only thing that happens is the lights above are flashing or flickering, chances are you have an electrical wiring issue. So let's head out to the garage, take a look at all the electrical wires as well as the safety reverse sensors and make sure all of those are properly connected and secured. Let's take a look. Outside in the garage now and your wall mounted open and closed push button unit in the event that you push this ultimately trying to close the garage door and the only thing that happens is the above lights flash or flicker you have a wiring issue or your safety reverse sensors need to be looked at and depending on how many times your lights flash or flicker will depend on what specific part needs to be looked at for example your vehicle has a check engine light and we have onboard diagnostic scanners that we can hook up and read the error code and figure out which part on the vehicle needs to be replaced. With the garage door openers, they have error codes as well and every flash count will indicate the specific part that needs to be addressed. For example, in the event that this flash is 10 times, that error code and 10 count flash is specifically for your safety reverse sensors way down at the bottom of the track. So from here, let's go back and direct our attention to the wall mounted push button and the wiring that feeds out of it. Just pay close attention, inspect the entire wiring, make sure that there are no frays, no bends to a point where it is harming the wire, and make sure that the coating on the actual wires is all still intact. And also look at these little staple portions that go into your drywall to secure the wire. Make sure that that did not harm or split the wire. Follow that wire all the way up, all the way around, and as you can see, our wire feeds up to the top portion of the ceiling and all the way out to the garage door opener motor unit as well. Follow the entire wiring. Make sure that the wire is in really good condition. There are no frays, no signs of stress, such as overheating or no critters got to it and have bitten the actual wires. That would not be good. We'll set the camera down, hop on the ladder, and inspect all of that wiring. At this point, I'm up on the ladder. I've inspected all the wiring all the way here. And again, every time you come across these little staple portions that secure the wire to the drywall, just make sure that there is a little bit of play, as you can see here, because the tighter these are, the more stress they put on the actual wiring and they can harm it or damage it. Feeding all the way to the other side, make sure the plug is properly plugged in and secure. And from here, we'll open up the actual case Carefully open that, do your best to stay balanced, and you've got some wiring in here. Make sure that all of the wiring is properly inserted in the correct hole and properly secured. And you have a learn button here. In the event that you have a amber light illuminated here, your error code has been thrown. So we definitely need to figure out what exactly is causing that. And again, just follow all the wiring that goes out, and we are going to follow all the way down to that portion, and you'll notice that it splits off to the left to go down to your safety reverse sensor down there. And another wire goes to the right to go down to your safety reverse sensor down there as well. And on the opposite side, real quick before getting off the ladder, you have your battery inside here. Let's go ahead and remove that Phillips screw, gain access to behind this cover plate. We will see your positive red wire that feeds into your positive terminal and the black negative wire for your battery. Let's take a look at that. However, before we do that, Let's go ahead and make sure that we cut all electrical power to the garage door opener. Go ahead and unplug it. Again, Phillips screwdriver. Remove the Phillips screw and be careful. Don't strip that screw. Once you get that screw out, remove this cover plate. Carefully remove the cover plate. Behind the cover plate, there's your battery and you have two wires that feed into the battery. Red wire goes all the way down, loops to the connection point. Red square indicates your positive terminal lead. Black wire loops up and the black square indicates your negative terminal lead. Make sure that the connection points are properly secured and on the right terminal. After that, inspect the actual wires and make sure that those have no signs of stress or overheating or no fraying, etc. And if all that looks good, go ahead and re-secure the cover plate and tighten it down with a Phillips screw. And as you tighten the Phillips screw, make sure you do not strip the screw. After the cover plate to the battery is secured, before getting off the ladder, just verify that both light bulbs, one on this side and one on the opposite side, are properly secured as well. From here, carefully close the protective lens. 
on this side as well as the opposite side. And to the opposite side before closing this protective lens, I do want to point out these two yellow wires here. Make sure that those are also in good condition. No signs of stress. Those are supposed to be hanging out, so make sure as you close this lens, those are out. From here, let's hop down and continue our inspection of the wires, both left and right side. Down off the ladder now, and on the bottom side of the track, both left and right side of the garage, you will find a safety reverse sensor. Kind of looks like a little security camera, doesn't it? That's pretty neat. In comes an electrical wiring. Follow the electrical wiring. And again, each staple point, make sure that it is loose and free. Follow it all the way up, top portion of the garage door, all the way across to the opposite side, down to the other safety reverse sensor. And back to this one real quick. There is an LED light. It's off right now because we have the garage door unplugged. Once we plug it back in, that light is supposed to be stationary, not blinking. Top to the opposite side. And again, the electrical wiring all the way up, all the way down. Make sure it is properly connected to the safety reverse sensor, no signs of stress. And again, it moves freely through each staple point. And after that, you basically at this point have inspected all the wiring. Let's go ahead, hop back up on the ladder and plug the garage door unit back in. And be careful, you're on the ladder again, don't fall off. And once we plug it in, it's going to go through a troubleshoot process real quick and we'll blink a few times. That is normal. There we go, let's carefully hop off the ladder. And back off the ladder, back down to the lower portion, your safety reverse sensors, that LED light that I was mentioning earlier. Again, in the event that yours is blinking, make sure you loosen this wing nut, reposition this sensor to a point where it is properly in line with the opposite side, because what these do, these little sensors stare each other right in the eye and basically create a imaginary beam straight across. So in the event that any obstacle gets in the way while that garage door is closing, these will send a signal to the motor to stop and reopen the door. So again, loosen up the wing nut, adjust the sensor, tighten it back up, make sure the light is stationary. Hop to the opposite side, you'll notice that one was green. This one is amber. And again, it is stationary and not blinking, so our safety reverse sensors are working properly. And from here, let's hop back up on the ladder. There's something up there I wanna show you. Again, what I mentioned earlier, each vehicle has a check engine light and an OBD scanner that can reset the error code and clear that check engine light. We can do the same with our garage door opener. Hopping back up on the ladder, opening up that portion. This is called your learn button, that yellow push button. And depending on your garage door, yours could be amber, it could be orange, it could be pink, it could be blue, purple, however ours is yellow. So to reset the error code, you will push and hold this learn button and in the event that you do have an error, this LED amber light will be illuminated. So push and hold for about five seconds and it will reset the code and your amber light will go out. From here, close the lens. Carefully hop off the ladder. All right, YouTubers hopped off the ladder and there's our awesome Raptor that we love. Back to the wall mounted open and close push button. And since we have reset the air code, let's go ahead and attempt to close the door. YouTubers all went well, so we hope this helps. That's it, YouTubers. See a pretty quick, friendly DIY project. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.